Girl, I know you gon' be tight, you lost a boy like me Never break bridges, girl, that ain't like me You gon' want me back Hi, guys <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel It's Raven I'm fucking out of it right now because I had a really bad night But I haven't talked to you guys or made a video in a month And I was like, yay, I'm active again And then shit hit the fan, which it always does But it's okay we're back, we're better, and we're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. The last time I filmed a video, I was like in a totally different mental headspace than I am now. So it's kind of interesting to see. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I have the famous Kardashian salad. So this isn't my first time having this. I've had this like a lot of times. It's my favorite salad on earth. It's literally so, 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 so good. Like. There's a reason why the Kardashians eat it in every single episode. It's like the freaking best. And then we also have the mango green teeny. I got a large because this will last me like two days. And it's just so good and I love it. Oh my god, my friend is like blowing me up. Okay, so the salad that we got is the high protein salad from Health Nut. <clears throat> I get it without the almonds and cashews because... I just don't want that in my salad, but it has shredded chicken, cucumber, sunflower seeds, lettuce, carrots, and tomato. And the thing is the dressing. The dressing is so freaking good. I think, I gotta see if this is my number one favorite dressing because I have another one that's like so freaking good too. Mm. So it's this one. I'll show you guys my other favorite dressing. <clears throat> so my other favorite dressing, this is the top two best salad dressings in the world and if you guys know me is it focused if you guys is it focused if you guys know me like sushi is my favorite food but salad i could eat salad every single day sushi and salad every day i'm good so this is my second favorite salad dressing ever angelo pietro original dressing but also the sesame miso one is really good too and at health nut i also bought the salad dressing in the bottle because I'm gonna use this shit, bitch. But I might put some of my favorite dressing in this salad too. But yeah, we are gonna eat my favorite salad ever. And I decided to film a mukbang because I just haven't been on here and I wanna update you guys on what's been going on because a lot has changed. If you can tell, I'm in a different place. Okay, but let's get started on the salad. So we're gonna mix this. And guys, if I sound like kind of sick, it's because I have been sick for like a week or longer. And I'll explain why. <coughs> oh my God. So the thing about this salad is you do need a lot of dressing because one, I'm telling you, is not enough. I usually eat the salad there because they have the salad dressings on the table and you can just keep putting more and more dressing in. But um, I wanted to film a video, so I took it to go. Okay, I'm gonna put that much for now, and then I'm gonna shake this up. Oh my god. The famous Kardashian salad toss. This is the one that they use. this salad in well over a year mm, this salad is like so fresh everything is so fresh and I love I can only I'm actually really particular with my salads I only like crunchy lettuce I don't like spinach in my salad arugula uh -uh, none of that I just want crunchy good lettuce yeah, see, like, I can't taste the dressing. So I'm going to just, like, pour this on top. You need to ask for, like, five extra dressings. But I bought the whole bottle. <clears throat> okay. So life update. I'm in LA. Um, I really didn't know I was going to come back. 
I really didn't know. It was very spontaneous, which everything in my life is. I like made the decision literally three days before I left. And everything just like aligned is so perfect for me. All right, I found this place right away. Stormy's here. Stormy. <gasps> Come, baby. Hi. She doesn't want to say hi. But Stormy's here. My car is being shipped. I'm like doing, I'm doing it. I, I'm moving here. But I'm keeping my place back home as well. And I will be going back and forth. Like I'm going home this month already because I have two photo shoots for Raywood. My clothing. But yeah, I moved to LA. Um... I just needed a break guys like it's not even that i needed a break it's like i needed to do me and i'm gonna try to say like my life update in the most non-bashing respectful way but people got me fucked up and i feel like i say that in every single video is people got me fucked up but you know what they don't even got me fucked up anymore it's just like that's that's your character that's you Okay, bye. Like before, if somebody fucked me over, I would be like chasing after them, like, oh my God, crying, like, no, like blah, 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 blah. But now I'm in this like mindset where it's like, <clears throat> that's what you wanna do? That, that's what you wanna do? Go ahead, like go, go right ahead. I'm not gonna stop you. You're showing me what you want. So why would I stop you from doing what you want? Because I know at the end of the day, you'll regret it. And I'd rather you regret it at the end of the day than me chase after you for years and years and years and it being this ongoing cycle. And I'm just like, I'm over it. Like, if you wanna do that shit, go. Like, I'm not gonna stop you. But I, it took me a long time to get in this mindset, guys. Like, oh my God, my friend will not stop pulling me up. She's like going fucking crazy. But it took me a really long time to get in this mindset But I'm just like, just let people do what they want to do Because they're going to show you their true colors And that's the best thing ever When people show you their true colors Because then you don't have to waste your time anymore If people show you They show you how they feel about you, okay And if they show you that they don't give a shit Then freaking leave their ass And just be like, bye You don't give a shit about this Bye, have fun Have fun Because I know I'm meant for a lot more and I, I truly, I, I, I know I said before like, oh thank god I found my worth I feel like now like I really know my worth like I don't, I'm not gonna chase, I'm not gonna go after people that are disrespectful to me like I'm a super 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 loyal person like it's like Probably my best quality that I would say I have about myself is I'm very, very loyal. And sometimes I'm too loyal. But, like, people that don't reciprocate that same energy to you, like, bye. Bye. Like, bye. That's my mood right now. Bye. Like, I don't care. So, yeah. Something happened. I moved to L.A. I'm doing me again. And I was actually in L.A. before COVID. And then when COVID hit, I moved back home. But I was in a terrible mindset the last time I was here in LA. Like, I was just chasing the wrong things. I was just partying too much. And now I feel like I have a good head on my shoulders right now. I'm not trying to, like, just party. I'm just trying to, like, do me. Expand my brand out here. Have fun, of course. Meet people, meet connections. But I'm not just, like, being a bimbo out here like i'm like actually trying to do shit but yeah so that's my little update i'm in la and yeah the salad is really good uh, my friend will not stop <clears throat> and guys i've kind of been on one lately like if somebody irritates me I've been very con confrontational lately. That's another quality about me is I'm very confrontational. Like if somebody does something that pisses me off or like you do something that irritates me, I'm like, you just irritated me. 
like I'm the type like if there's a problem let's talk about it like I don't beat around the bush I don't you know I'm like you just irritated the fuck out of me and I'm gonna tell you that but I'm okay I'm okay but yeah Mm, this salad is so freaking good Tell me what um, places you guys want me to eat in LA I can do a Chick-fil-A mukbang in and out Comment down below what you want And guys, what is up with the burping? I have to know Is it like a turn on when girls burp? Some people like like that There's a whole video of me on YouTube Rave wood burping and it's like two minutes long and I was like what the hell and it has like a good amount of views too and I'm like one who the hell made this two who the hell is watching this three what the heck crazy mm, I literally cannot there's, oh there's also mozzarella in this um, salad mango green teeny But yeah, last night was 4th of July and it was a really bad day, honestly. I never, for some reason, I never have good 4th of Julys. Only two years ago I did with all my friends. But I, for some reason, I never have good 4th of Julys. Last night we went to this party. Or we tried to go, well actually. So first we went to this one part. <coughs> first we went to this one party. And they were acting so strict at the door. The security's like two at a time this is this like acting like it's like this big time party like no you can't get in did it a hundred dollars each entry for the boys <coughs> and then we go in there and i'm like this is what you're charging for this first of all it was empty as hell i mean the house was really nice but it was empty as hell whack music it was free drinks but i was just like no 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 this isn't our vibe it was like techno weird so that here we're leaving my friend told us about this other party up in the hills so we went there and the second that we got there literally the second the party got shut down and we had just walked up this freaking huge ass hill it was freezing cold and i was so over it already i was like you're kidding me right like and then so i was with my good friend and then my this other friend and then her friend and her friend I didn't like her did not vibe i was just like not she was like really like catty seemed like she was too good to be with us i'm like so then she drove to the party and when we didn't um when the party shut down everyone was leaving she was like oh sorry i don't really have room in my car and i was like first of all it's a four door car you definitely have room and it was just so rude because she left us at the top of the hill in the freezing cold when I was the one that was going to get her into this party and I didn't even know her. So I'm like, what the hell? Like me, like I would never leave two girls randomly at the top of a hill in the freezing cold. Like even if it was daytime, I'm, I'd be like, yeah, I could drive you guys down. Like where do you need to go? Like I would never leave people stranded on top of a freaking hill. Like hell no. And it was, we couldn't even get a Uber because everything was just so jam-packed. It was like the worst thing ever, but I did not vibe with that girl. So I texted my friend and I was like, your friend kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, she literally just left us stranded on the top of a hill. Like girl code, like you don't leave girls at night on, on the top of a hill. Like, hello, but whatever. All good. What other life updates do I have? Um, Ravewood Shop is coming out with my summer collection. Um, what is the date? I think July 30th. July 30th at 10 a.m. Ravewood summer collection. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm flying home on the 18th of July to get my photo shoots in and create a bunch of content. 
so it's gonna be super cute. Maybe I'll vlog that time period. So freaking good. I could eat this every single day. The only thing is it's really expensive. Mm mm mm. Yeah, guys. Crazy shit. It's just crazy, like, how people treat people, you know? Like, I can never do people wrong. Like, people that have been in my life for years that, like, you know, it's just crazy. Like, I would never do shit like that. But, you know, what I learned is not everyone has the same heart as you. And that took me a while to, like, understand that is not everyone was raised like you. Not everyone has the same heart. And that's just reality. It's like, it's crazy. But we're gonna be okay, all of us. We're all gonna go to the top. We're all gonna make it. We're all gonna be happy. We're all gonna get our karma. And everyone's gonna get their karma, if you know what I mean. So it's all good. Just let God do it. Just I'm just like, my vibe right now is just like, I'm living life and like what happens happens I'm just trusting God I'm trusting myself I'm going with the flow I'm not forcing anything I'm just like letting people letting people do what they want to do and I do me and what happens happens I'm not gonna force anything I'm not gonna beg I'm not gonna chase uh-uh I'm done with that I'm way too like I'm way too good of a person and I'm not trying to like say like oh my god I'm this great amazing person and brag about myself but like I have a good heart and I've showed my heart for many years to people that continue to just treat me like I'm trash like just dump me in the ground and I'm like done I'm done uh uh we're not playing that game anymore I no longer need to like try to show you that I'm a good person or try to do this and try to do that and I'm done. If you can't see my worth, if you can't see me, that's your loss. It's really not my loss. It's completely yours. Because I'm good. Like, who are you? I don't know. No one knows. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm like on one right now. But I'm okay. I want you guys to see Stormy. Hi, baby. You want chicken? Stormy loves chicken. Say hi, baby. Stormy has been loving. Oh, Stormy loves LA. She's so shook every time I take her driving or anything. Look, baby chicken. Your favorite. She loves seeing the big city. She's just used to like being home in Hawaii or like going like little places, but she loves, she's loving it here. And I was really worried because <clears throat> I really just wanted her to be happy. Like, her being here with me has made this whole thing so much better and easier. But she's like my little best friend family member. My little baby. One more chicken. Pow after this. Oh. But yeah, Stormy is loving her life. She's living her best life in LA. We both upgraded, me and Stormy. We're living our best life. <clears throat> she got her first rabies shot, and then she needs to get one more, and then a blood test, and then she can um, travel back and forth with me. But if you guys want to see a little house tour in LA, like where I'm staying in my room and everything, like this video and comment down below and let me know. But I really just feel like good things are about to happen for everybody. Anybody that's a good person, good things are about to happen for you. Believe it, manifest it, envision what you want because good things are about to happen. But while I'm here, I really want to like meet people 
that are like on the same wavelength as me as far as TikTok and like collab with people on TikTok. I really wanna collab with people on TikTok. Like I'm really sick of doing the dances myself. It gets boring. Like I really wanna find people here that are like kind of where I'm at, like following wise on, on TikTok and collab. That's like my goal. I'm gonna manifest it. I'm going to Vegas um, later on this month as well. A little girls trip with my besties. It's gonna be super fun. So I'm gonna vlog Vegas. I'm definitely gonna vlog Vegas. But yeah, sorry this video was kind of just like me bitching, but it's just like reality right now. I'm just like, people got me like, they don't even got me fucked up. It's just like leveling up, leveling up. It's just like crazy how people are. And I just really want to protect my energy. I want to, I want everything that's meant for me. And I know that I can't have what's meant for me if I stick with people and be around people and surround myself with people that are not on my wavelength, are not good for my energy, drain me. They're just not, we're just not there together. Like not on the same wavelength at all. If that makes sense, like, you have to let go of what no longer serves you so you can have what serves you. And for so long, I've tried to keep what no longer serves me and also get what I want in life. And it just, it keeps you like this. So if you drop that, you'll just keep skyrocketing. So... I'm excited to see what happens. I really am excited because I feel like good things are about to happen. I'm actually doing really, really good. I'm doing the best I've ever done, ever. Like, I don't know if it seems like it, but I'm doing really good mentally. I would always before spiral down, look at things I shouldn't be looking at, you know, just still being like absorbed in that energy. But I'm, I'm literally like, I'm not even gonna touch it. Like, I'm not even going to go there. Like, I'm just going to focus on me and I'm going to focus on what's ahead. Because I just, I just, I literally mentally cannot anymore. But yeah. Anyways. I think I'll end the video. Because it's already 26 minutes long. <clears throat> but if you guys watch this, thank you so much. I love you guys. And please comment down below where you want me to eat or what you want me to do, like vlogs, whatever. And I'll get that done for you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at rave underscore wood. TikTok is at rave wood. Snapchat is at rave underscore wood if you want to add me on Snapchat. And make sure you like this video, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. No man, but he ain't like me. Fuck being in love, girl, your belly like me. Putting on the gloves like you're trying to fight me. You don't make the cup and I'm directing Spike Lee Wasted all my time and that shit is pricey Yeah, You wasted all my time Devil in disguise